Good morning. My name is Jim. <clears throat> I'm uh, glad to join you this morning here on uh, Rich with Friends. I'd like to begin by reading Psalm 91, which is a passage very dear to me. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will uh, remain safe and secure and find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I trust, and with great confidence, and with great certainty, I rely on it. You know, one of these things that have come in these six weeks that we've been here in our house is that we've come to understand that this is our abode. We live here. This is our house. Uh, the word abode uh, can mean a dwelling place. It can mean a place of stopping. It can mean a place of momentary waiting for something to happen. And I think that's exactly what's happening for us in this six weeks here is that we're learning to abide in the Lord. And that's not always easy. As fast paced as things are in life, sometimes we want to go, 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 go. And when the brakes come on and we stop, we don't understand that it's a momentary uh, selah, uh, a resting place for us to gather our thoughts. And I'll admit to you that I've been very restless in this six weeks. At first, it was really weird not to be able to go anywhere or see anybody. And to talk to people face to face. I'm a people person as it, as it is, and I like to uh, talk to people and connect, and it's just been really hard to, to disconnect from people. In those first few weeks, it was really strange to not do. And then, as my pastor said in a sermon, it comes to that point where you kind of go, well, I'm just angry about it. I'm angry that I can't go and I have no freedom. And you sit in that for a while and you're angry and you're angry at God and you're angry at society and you're angry at viruses and things like that that are out of your control. And then you come to the point where you accept it. I think that's kind of where I'm at at the end of six weeks is I'm accepting that this is a moment for me to just to stop and to listen and to find the rest in the Lord that I need. I think a lot about my parents during these days. They grew up in the depression I certainly thought about them when I walked in the stores and I saw things on the shelf were missing. <clears throat> they didn't have grocery stores like that then, but they certainly knew what it was not to have. And so I watched them throughout my life store things away. They would can and they would um, pick fruit and all kinds of things and put it in our freezer. And I never really understood that until this time when there was a need for food and there was a need for things that we couldn't get a hold of. And I truly appreciate what they've taught me my little mother used to walk around and she would quote a hymn that said, change and decay all around I see, O thou who changest not, abide with me. And so I've been trying to record a hymn each day as I close out my day at work. And um, what you're gonna hear next is a, a copy of a song that I think my mother would be very happy to know that I've come back to. But it, it talks about abiding, abiding in the Lord abiding in his strength and the shelter of his wings. And he will raise you up and he will protect you in these days just as he's protecting so many of us. We just have to say of the Lord, he is our strength and our confidence and in him we trust. So I pray that this song will bless you. You don't have to do anything on this. You just sit back and watch and listen. Um, may the Lord bless you as you listen to this song. And it certainly has blessed me as I've, I've tried to do this each day. Lord, I thank you uh, for dwelling with us, that we can be this secure place uh, under your wings and that you watch over us in these days. I pray that we would abide with you and that you would watch over us and, and take us to that place of safety. In Jesus' name.